Okay, I got a real problem with my horse. I've been feeling it's a little thick. Not quite what I want it to be as far as uh, the body goes. And I'm checking my proportions, the uh, distance between the nose of the horse and the back of the head should be the same distance between the back of the horse to the bottom of the stomach. And you can see I've got almost a half, almost an inch more stomach than I should have on this horse. So I've got to either trim it or start over again. <laughs> I want to do that. But anyway, you got to self self-evaluate your work every once in a while and if you find a problem you gotta change it or fix it i'm going to use a uh alcohol lamp to heat up my tool to cut it <laughs> time to play with some clay Boy, have I off on this course. <clears throat> I don't know if I can save the horse. All right, as you can see, this is the line I should have for my horse's back. It matches perfectly with the stomach and the head measurement and all that stuff. It also will change the uh, angle of the uh, shoulder a little bit. And uh, but I'm going to run into a problem because the, well, it runs into the backbone. I mean, the back of the, or the top of the uh, armature. So I'm going to have to figure something out here. Uh, well, let's do it now, then later. Figure it out and have a poorly done horse. 
All right, I think I know where I went wrong on this piece. I made the armature wrong. And uh, if you make the armature wrong, everything else goes wrong. But I'll correct it. There we go. Now I got it where it's supposed to be. I got to do some adjusting on the shoulders. The key is not to give up. Just keep trying and get it right. Oops, something fell. Oh, my pounder. does come in handy <clears throat> when you gotta do do some adjusting <clears throat> yeah that body looks a lot better it doesn't look as fat and clunky looking as it was before all right now it's just a matter of me getting it better in shape. Now you're looking sway back a little bit. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to re reposition that whole neck. Okay, from the bottom of the hoof to the top of the shoulder should be the same distance between the back of the horse and the front of the horse. And that's, that's worked out fine there. So, let's double check on the uh, length of the neck to the point of the hip. That's good. Man. 
I gotta redo that whole chest area too. You know, the best time to correct something like that, that's major, is before you go to bronze. Once you go to bronze, it's done. And, uh, I knew something was bothering me, and I don't know what it was, and now I know what it was. And, uh, I think I just corrected it. Now it's just a matter of reshaping everything and getting it correct. getting a head headache and I think it's stress whenever you do something like this it's very stressful because you've invested a little bit of time in this thing and you don't want to screw it up by making a major change like that but it was something that had to be done <sighs> I think I'll come back tomorrow after I settle down and uh with a clear mind and, and head and come back and work on this. I, I like it a lot better now. It looks a lot, lot uh, healthier horse. Well, it's getting there anyway. All right, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you next time. I'm sorry it's not much, but it was an interesting day. I think you must say. I got to rework that whole neck again. Oh, gosh. All right, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.